I am buzzing. It is not every day that you get to pull back the curtain, if you will, and learn a little bit of the history behind the man who founded Spur, yes. one of the country's most popular restaurant groups. I feel like I became a parent when I started taking my children to Spur. It was like the loop yeah. closed. I still have my wallet, just by the way. Really? Yeah, I'm you secret champion, shot, man. man. <laughs> um, we are talking about the man that is the legend, Alan Ambor, and he may be retired from the business, but he's got plenty of heart left and sage words to share in his new book titled A Taste for Life, How the Spur Legend Was Born. Alan now joins us in studio. Very good morning. Can we give this yeah, man this yeah. legend? Oh, yeah. 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 Espresso <laughs> for every wonderful steak. Thank you. For every baked potato, for every milkshake. For every birthday song. For that's every been birthday sung, song. And Chick of the Cloud. Like for every oh, burger. Man. For yeah, every man. burger. <laughs> I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What uh, an thank absolute you too. honor having you here this morning. Thank you Thanks, so much. Graham. Oh, man. Yeah. Your, 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 your stories sound so successful. Looking at you now, you you seem like you've lived a good life as well. You're full of energy, full of spirit. I'm I believe you're even going to do a workout later, so things are going well for you. <laughs> yeah. But well, let's talk about the book because it seems to be a documentation of pretty much your success and not only yeah. maybe in business, but perhaps also in life too. I mean, is it something that you've applied in your life that's gotten, to you, gotten you to this point that you're at now? Is there a formula? Yeah. <laughs> I think the formula is I was very lucky with my parents that they set an example that they taught me the value of hard work, determination, doggedness, stubborn, never say die spirit. And that even when things were really rough and tough, and they were, there were sometimes in the early years, really worked like a slave, 20 hours a day, Jeez. drove my staff home in a little mini because I couldn't afford a combi for the first <laughs> six months to Hader, Felton, Guguletu and Langer. Sure and on two shifts, by the way, and then go to sleep, then get up early to be there before them to unlock, to open up. And so it was a tough time. And there came a time one night when I actually thought, now I've got to get out of this business, it's killing me. But the next morning I had four hours sleep, I was fine. You were sorted, <laughs> four man. Like, sleep, like man, every already. great entrepreneur <laughs> out there, man, you know, sleep, it, it doesn't come at a premium. I would imagine because, yes, a bit of chutzpah and that, that doggedness, as you said, the ability mm. to just keep pushing until it happens, yeah. we know that's a part of being an entrepreneur. But you've got to learn those vital lessons in business. To create a business that is this successful, what are, maybe you can highlight three of those key insights, those lessons that you've learned that have enabled you to build such an amazing brand. Well, I put myself through university, paying for my studies, working for a steakhouse group, in Johannesburg. And they taught me a lot just by being a waiter. Just being there. I yeah. learned a lot. And they were meant to franchise me, and nine people were meant to come down to help me open with my partner who came in right at the end after everything had been set up. And nobody pitched up. <laughs> You'd ph I'd, we'd phone them and say, look, when are you guys coming down? They say, well, we're very busy, and this one's sick, and that one's on holiday. And they let me down us down completely. And so it was a tremendous struggle, a tremendous battle. And to make matters worse, the day before we opened, we told all the schools around Golden Spur and Newlands, Sachs and Westerford and San Susi and Russenberg Hungry Gold, boys, yeah. that we're starting our ice cream machine the next day and there's a free ice cream after school, which was oh, a good wow. marketing yeah. ploy, right? Yeah. So the kids were there in their thousands. They told their parents, this is 1967. Yesterday was the 54th anniversary. Wow. So in those days, to get a free ice cream cone, they went home, told their parents. Their parents came to have a look. So on top of it, which was a negative positive, it's a strange thing to say, yeah. we were so busy we were run off our feet because <laughs> we started there. We didn't start, start there, there and build yeah. up, you see. But I'm not yeah. complaining. <laughs> I, yeah, I am buddy, not. I don't I, it can. might sound yeah. like I'm, I'm not complaining. Look, I mean, you, you're someone that, I mean, if you're talking about from the 60s all the way up until now in the yeah. 21st century, 2022 almost is on the horizon. Yeah. Um, you've been through it all. You've been through a lot. Maybe just to make this more practical, you could give some advice to Mzanzi. Especially right now, businesses are struggling. They're yeah. dealing with the most 
You've spoken about how you've gone through so much adversity. What advice would you maybe give to Mzanzi just with regards to getting over the hump, yeah, surviving? that that restaurateur, that, that entrepreneur yeah. that's been hit over the well, last I 18 months. Well, I think the thing is that you've got to work hard. And that means that sometimes you've got to do three people's job. You know, you've got to not say, look, I can't cope. You've got to cope more. Uh -huh. So that's very, very important because if your overheads are high and you owe the bank and you're not making a profit, you're in dead trouble. So you've got to be um, creative. You've got to find different ways of dealing with things. You've got to increase your takeaway delivery business. It's, it's that sort of thing that grows your company and your turnover when people aren't going out because they've got masks on and they're not yeah. allowed to. It's difficult to put your finger on one thing. The only thing that I really believe in is in dedication and just making sure that you never give up and going for it. You know? Have a blast while you're doing it. Clearly. Oh, I enjoy really enjoyed it. my life. I re and it's not over by a long time. <laughs> it might just be getting started. You have created <laughs> something that has given so many families so much joy and still gives my family so much joy. So thank you once again. Yeah, thank thank you, you for being this example. Thanks, and thank you for putting it all in a book so that we can gain those insights and we can hopefully emulate this. But here's to over half a century of a legend in every household in South Africa. Alan, we love you. Thank man. you. But Support may I just you. say that book's for you guys to give away to one of your listeners, you know? Oh, wow, well, okay. It's a little gift. Or maybe it doesn't even make it to the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep no, it no, no, yeah. no, no. It's for the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank well, you look, so, there is, so much. There is a competition, and thank you for mentioning that, and I'm absolutely looking forward to it. And really? for you, Mzanzi, you need to answer the following questions. So if you can tell us, what is your favorite spur memory? Right. Let us know on our social media, page, oh. our Facebook page especially. And uh, of course, terms and conditions do apply. The competition is going to close at 12 o'clock on Tuesday, the 26th of October. That's tomorrow. So come through with the question. The answer, well, the question is, what is your favorite spur memory? Let us know on our Facebook pages. And of course, you could be walking away with this encyclopedia of knowledge. It's a history of everything that's gotten to this beautiful point, And it's a taste oh, yeah. for life that you are going to absolutely oh, enjoy.